I have the multi-track session uh, loaded here on Studio One Version 5 Prime Edition, the free DAW, from James May, the song Hold On You. And we are going to have some creative fun with reverb and delay. Now, you may or may not know that Studio One Version 5 Prime Edition, the free version, has lots of limitations, and one of them is also VST plugins. So the only plugins you get are whatever is native available. And the Reverb plugin available in Prime Edition is Mixverb. Now if you add the add-on Pro plugin feature, you also get Room Reverb. But I'm going to stay with Mixverb which is the free version that comes in. So in normal circumstances, when you want reverb on a vocal, you just slap it on the channel, what most people do, but I tend to actually have an effects channel and have a send to the effects channel and the amount of signal I need to send to the reverb. Here's what I mean. I'm just going to open up my mixer. With most beginners, they will open up the vocal channel in the inserts, and they will add either drag or add mix verb, and that will give them reverb, which is fine, you can do that, but there is a better way to do it because using the effects reverb, which is an add effect rather than change effect. And if you haven't watched my video about the difference between add effect and change effect, I have made uh, a video and I will leave a link in the description uh, that you can watch to understand what the differences are. Uh, this is not really a great way of doing it or an efficient way of doing it. So I'm just going to remove it from there. It, it will work. Let's give it a try, of course. If the shoe don't fit Yep, we've got reverb. Turn it off. It when your soul just scrapes right, it's all good. Ground. But when we start adding more and more uh, channels to the effects, that means we're going to add mixed verb on every other channel. So it's easier way to actually have an effects channel. And the easiest way to do it, while well, I just simply remove this from here, is go to send, click on the plus sign, and say add an effects channel. So now we have a send that's being sent to this one. So being tapped off from this channel and sent to this. And now in here, we can add our mix verb. Okay, for this effect, I'm going to turn the width all the way to mono, zero. I'm going to give it Nice, big, luscious sound. And I do want to give a little bit of pre-delay. And what that does is that the reverb doesn't start until another 95 milliseconds. It's just a random number I just selected. Um, and let's have a listen to how it sounds. If the shoe don't fit, so that's mono. That's wide. It, when your soul just scrapes. Okay, so that's nice. You can have it wide, but I'm going to show you a more creative way. Of course, this is not something new, but I just want to uh, show you um, a bit more creative way of using reverb. So are we going to put into mono? Okay, now that's number one, effects number one. I'm going to come here and add another one, effects two. We can rename it if you like. Again, this time I'm going to add also mix verb, but here I'm not going to give any delay. I'm going to make it really short. Okay. Take the wide down again, and I'm going to do that one more time. So I have three of them. Let's just go to the third one. Again, let's add mix verb. FX three. You can tell that this is FX3 channel 1 and not FX2. It's written up here in case you get confused. 
This one, I'm going to give a little bit of a delay there and just again randomly a little bit shorter, change the damping again and it's a random amount and I'm going to put it to mono. Now let's have a listen to what's going to happen because now we've got uh, three different reverbs with different settings. With the sleeves too long and you probably go, well, that doesn't sound any different. Well, let's turn one of them to the left and the other one to the right. Let's have a listen now. The style wrong when the neck is right? Now we can reduce that long delay one down. Head, head bound. Then there's a hold on. Here we can hear left and right different reverb times that we are listening to. So it winds up the vocal. Let's turn them off. You look out, you're almost strangled blue. Let's Drawn turn the left like and right. A raggedy heart on a bad Let's give a little bit more Wake middle. Up and drop that suit. Strip down and face your naked truth. See? how we can be more creative. Now we have full control of what's going to go to the left, what's going to go to the right, and what's going to be in the middle. And this is how sometimes really expensive plugins that you can buy will do, is have different reverb effects to the left and to the right and into the middle, and just take your money. Here you can be creative and use three different instances of the mix verb and have a very similar effect. It's been so wrong, so long, that it's time. Now, even though the vocal is pretty much processed, let's uh, assume that it's not, and we can always add our channel strip. Let's uh, do some low uh, cut. You know, not no voice will go below 100 anyway, so we're just going to cut some of that. And here, I'm just going to give a little bit of compression and also I'm just going to use the expand to clear out some things. And let's have a listen. To make an escape. Just giving it auto gain. If the shoe don't fit and you can't wear it When your soul just scrapes the ground with the sleeves too long and the style plain wrong when the neck is tied and bound. Okay, that sounds good now. You can, of course, if it's your own recording, you can play around with channel strip. Again, there's nothing stopping you to add another channel strip below the first one to have more effect. Okay, so let's have a listen in context to see how far we've, we've gone with the uh, uh, adjustments, with the uh, channel strip, as well as the three different reverb effects on the vocal. Then there's a hold on you Look at your almost strangled blue Drawn Let's turn them all off. Turn them back on. Now let's give the vocal a little bit of space. I'm just going to pan the one of the guitars to the left and the electric one to the right. The slide guitar can stay in the middle because that's solo guitar as well. And let's have a listen now. If the shoe don't fit and you can't wear it when your soul Let's turn the effects off. Scrapes the ground with the sleeve now we have a vocal that is nice and wide that's we've got reverb on to the left and to the side and it's also fuller sounding as well now let's do one more creative effect as well next i'm going to be a little bit more creative and turn off the mix verb but i want to use some slap back delay type delay 
so I'm just going to use what's available, which is a bit delay. On one, and here I can leave it at quarter. Uh, again, feedback uh, for slapback we we need about uh, about seven and a half percent or thereabouts, and the width again we don't. Oh, that's for the modulation, so we don't have we don't care. I'm going to turn the mix all the way hundred percent, and let's have a listen now. When the neck is tied and bound. Okay, a little bit too many feedbacks. Then there's a hold on you. Look out, you're almost strangled blue. That's close enough. And let's just add another one. I'm just going to drag a copy of that one. And this time I'm going to have... Um, the beats to be on 40 and just a little bit of offset as well and the repeat maybe a bit less and now that's on to the right hand side so let's have a listen now to what happens then there's a hold on you look out you're almost strangled blue drawn like a yep that's a lot of echo that is all fine because I'm going to take you to the next stage and show you what I'm going to do. Here, I'm just going to add another effects channel. Unfortunately, buses are not available in Prime Edition, so I'm just going to use effects, and I'm just going to click effects bus, okay? And I'm just going to select my reverb and my two delays, and the output, instead of going to the main, I'm going to select to effects bus. Now I have full control of the effects with one knob. Here we go. Raggedy heart on a bad tattoo. Wake up and drop that suit. Strip down and face your naked truth. It's been so wrong, so long, that it's time to make an escape. Okay. So now, of course, you can uh, play around with all the, the effects, times, and settings, and which is all good. So let's have a quick listen to see how it sounds. Deep. If the shoe don't fit and you can't wear it, when your soul just scrapes the ground. Okay, that's cool. Let's do one more. Yes, one more, please, Vache, give us one more. So here's channel strip I'm going to put here, and I'm going to have a compression all the way up and on fast as well. And this, I'm going to have it as a side chain from my vocal, as side chain into here. So every time my vocal comes in, it will compress automatically all of my effects bus. So all the reverb, and the two delays from left and right will be compressed down, turned down every time the vocal is on. So it's, it will give, and then we can add more luscious reverb to it or more delay or echo without overpowering the vocals. Let's have a listen. If the shoe don't fit and you can't wear it when your soul just, just increasing the amount that I'm going to send to the side chain so it has more effects, more compression. And I might have a little bit of expand as well so it uh, fades out much better. The ground with the sleeves too long and the style playing wrong when the neck is tight. Here we can, of course, add some low cut to get some of the low frequencies of the um, reverb and the delay. And for high, yeah, about five, we can cut that one down as well. So the so things like uh, low frequencies, like the words B and P and all of those things don't get repeated in reverb and the delay, as well as sounds like S's. Don't get repeated. Then there's a hold on you. Look out, you're almost strangled blue. 
drawn like a raggedy heart on a bad tattoo. See how vocal is nice and clear, but we also have that great effect that we can play around with and be creative. What? Did you just ask for one more tip? Okay, one more. Last one. Okay, let's go into the main bus. And here I'm going to add again my channel strip. And let's have a listen to the ending of the song. Which is nice fade. And if you have a song that has sort of fade out that, or you want to add fade out, but instead of putting automation and fading it out, here's another simple way. I mean, you can have compression if you want, is to have expand maybe about 80 or 90 percent. And let's have a listen to the fade out. Okay, so that fades out. To, uh, to virtually zero infinity without any automation or anything. And you can use the expander, uh, the percentage amount, how quickly you want it to fade out, whether you want it slow fade out or fast fade out as well, because this slow, medium and fast option not only affects the compressor, it also affects the expander. And if you're not using the compressor, turn it off. And now we have um, uh, expander that's fading it out naturally. There we go. That was a slow one. Well, that's it. I hope this was uh, useful and helpful for you with lots of tips in this video using Studio One version 5 Prime Edition and being creative with um, reverb and delays on our vocal. Of course, it, you can't stop there. You can also go do the same sort of effects on any other, any other musical instrument. If this was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Till next time, cheerio guys.